What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Nordby here on Lake Gunnersville. We're going after the big old slabs today. We're going to be showing live scope on the screen in the corner right here like you've seen me do before. I'm tying up right now. I'm going to show you guys what I'm putting on. The water is super clear. We're fishing by a bluff today. Like I am 20 feet off this bluff and there is a giant school of crappie. We're going to see if we can make them bite. You're going to see how to catch crappie in late fall, early winter. They'll be they'll be here all winter uh, on these bluffs and brush piles out here deep, 20 foot. And I'm excited. We're actually in uh, 26 foot, so it's going to be fun. We're dropping deep down to these crappie. I'm going to show you how to have a small presentation, but to get it down deep quick. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, for my setup today, I'm using six pound test. That way I can drop down to these crappie fairly quick and reel them in fairly quick without having to worry about breaking off. Got me a tiny little jig here, 124th ounce, and we're just gonna tie it on. I use all sorts of different knots, whatever I'm in the mood for. Right here's an improved clinch knot, what I grew up tying my whole life. Pretty simple knot, but polymer knot works just as good. If not better, because you got two ends going around that hook. But we'll cut our tag in. We're using this super clear looking little bait. Water's about five, six foot clarity. And fish are finicky. So we're doing that. I'm also putting on a decent sized bullet weight split shot right there. I'm gonna clamp it on just like that. We got our ACC seven and a half foot pole. Let's get this camera on. I'm excited. So we are showing you exactly what to look for on live scope catching these fish. I'm gonna pull out my phone. We're gonna open up the old live scope app and I'm gonna screen record this so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing as I fish for these crappie. It's pretty unique. I love doing it. Uh, Garmin's app is called Active Captain here. Oh my gosh, there's a bobcat. No way. I don't know if you guys can see that. There is a bobcat right there. I haven't seen a bobcat in Alabama yet. It's crazy. I'm gonna zoom in on my phone so you guys can see it. Look at that. A bobcat is walking on the bank right there. No way. Just came out of the woods. He's behind that stump. See his back right there. That's crazy. Huh. Maybe that's a good sign. But we're going to open up active, active Captain here. Get back to what we were doing. Okay. Got on spot lock so it's spinning around. But that school right there that you see on the bottom is crappie. There's my jig dropping down, 16 foot out. Go ahead and turn the gain up so you can see it a little better. So you can see my split shot, you can see my jig. I'm gonna stop it right above these crappie. Look at him come up, look at him come up. Make him chase it, oh, he missed it. Make him chase it. If you let it sit there, oftentimes they won't eat it. They want to chase, they want the chase. Here they come. Whoo, drop it back down in the middle of them. There he is, just like that. Look at that, first drop. That's so awesome. Nice slab, number one for the day. These are all 10, 11 inch fish. Beautiful guys, beautiful slab. We're gonna throw them in the well. Let's go. I already got the well open. I might've caught a couple before I started this video. <laughs> That's actually number five. I said, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing because this is phenomenal. I'm on top of them right now. I'm going to back up a hair. There's a thousand crappie down there. It's crazy. Pretty crazy. So you can see it dropping in there. I'm on the end of the brush pile. I'm going to lift it up over them. Drop it back down to them. Oh man, there's a bunch of eel grass floating here. I can't hardly drop it to them. There we go. There he is. Oh, he missed it came up and munched it look at him look at him attack it man they want it that's crazy there he is <laughs> oh oh wow 
Maybe that's why you missed it. Maybe they're not all crappie. That's a yellow bass, what they call those. They are all over this lake. Largies love eating yellow bass. I've caught some of my biggest largemouth right in the middle of yellow bass when I thought there was only yellow bass there. All right, let's get back down to them. There they are. Right there. Man, that looks good. Stop it right above them again. Make them come up. Man, they're all coming up. Lift it up. Make them chase it. They don't want to chase right now. I'm going to drop it down the middle of them. And I'm going to just let it sit there a second and see what happens. There he is. Okay. Okay. They just want it sitting there tonight. Oftentimes they want it brought up to them. Chase it up. They feed going up normally. Woo! Beautiful 10 incher. That's awesome right there. Just a tiny little clear. It's like clear. You can see through it. Translucent jig. I'll link this down below in my gear. You guys can get exactly what we're using here catches them in this clear water look at that that is beautiful all right i'm above them right now just so you guys can see it oh he came up and ate it <laughs> that is hard to beat we're gonna go ahead and limit out we're gonna go ahead and try and limit out this is number eight did catch four before I started filming Number eight. So deep right here. 29 foot. These fish are on the bottom. They're just in a little current break, really. He nipped me there. Missed it. I don't know where I'm at now. I lost it. I'm down in the middle of them. There I am. Back off of them a little bit. They're all over. So many fish. There I am. There he is. Oh, he missed it. This is nuts. So I'm, I'm leaving all this uncut footage in here, guys. Just to kind of show you how long it takes to catch these fish. We're making no edits in today's video. Zero edits. Straight raw footage. We're going to try and limit out. Man. It's like they want it, but I don't have the right color. So, oh, that's what happened. My weight slid down. Clamp it back on there. I'm going to try a different color real quick because... It's not like they've been just crushing it. They're eating it, but they're not eating it the second they see it. So we're gonna put on a little darker shad color. See if that does the trick. Sun's going down here this evening. Okay. Got our shad color. Let's see if that'll do it. This is fun. It's hard to beat. So fun. Could always add a crappie nibble too. He's coming up. He's coming up. Man, he didn't eat it either. Drop it down the middle of him like I did with that last one. See if that'll work. Weight keeps sliding down. Need to put a weight peg on the line. Alright. Going back down. Come on, fish. Let's see what you're made of. Might have to go back to that clear one. The water's just so clear. There he is. 
Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> Number nine. We're gonna have a bunch to flay up. I've been putting a lot of them in the pond, but I'm gonna have to flay these. They're good 10 inches, perfect for flaying. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Well, oftentimes you catch a bunch out of a school and then they shut off. And you gotta do some different things to get them fired up. But right now they're still fired up. There's a bunch of them in there. You got a feisty one. <laughs> and that's why he was so feisty. Young and not educated. Little guy. I like to sit off of them about 15 feet or so, flip this little seven and a half foot rod right over them and just kind of let it coast, keep it right above them, just like that. Make them chase it normally. Today they don't want to chase it, they want it just sitting down there in the middle of the school. They're all competing for it. Yep. That's the deal today. Let it sit down there. Can't argue with what works. Cannot argue with what's working. Number 10. There it goes. Stop it right over them. I always stop it right over them just because it's a habit. Let's drop it down in them. That's how I normally catch them. There's that many, I guess, just sitting down in them. That's the deal. Kind of off of them now. It's just a bazillion of them right here. Just a bazillion of them right here. Let's wait, let's give me a fit. Reclamp it. Get back to them. They are definitely schooled up. It's amazing how many fish are here. There I am right on the tip of them. Yeah, when that weight slides down, they don't need it. Pull that weight back up. Instant catch. That one's not a 10 incher. He's only probably nine and a half. I think I'm at 12. Losing count. I might not show all these on video here. We might stop it. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of Catching them on live scope like this, it's amazing. It really is. It's just so cool being able to jig it right in front of their nose, basically, till they eat it. Nothing like it. They're not giants, but they're good ones. 13, I missed. I missed. So fun. There's so many fish here. Wow. It's crazy how they'll just follow it up and not eat it sometimes. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. I'm not casting where the majority are. Gotta cast on that majority. Get them. Fight over it. Sink. Come on a leaf. Come on a leaf, it's not sinking.
Hmm. 13 fish and they shut off. Now it's time to try a crappie nibble. Or there's something with a little chartreuse on. Sometimes when they shut off like that, some a little sparkle or something with a little chartreuse. We'll try this blue ice real quick. Sometimes that'll make a difference. Wow, there's so much eelgrass here. I can't even drop my jig down to them. There it goes. There he is. First drop with blue ice. Oh, he got off right there. Little turd. So much yield grass. That's crazy. There you have it guys, I actually just limited out 30 crappie over 9 inches. Biggest one's only like 11 inches, they're all about the same size, but man there is a bazillion of them down there. Probably a thousand or two thousand fish sitting in a school. It's just one little spot on Lake Gunnersville. there's so many like it, you just gotta find them. This is a new one I found today, I've never fished this spot before, I just went looking, it took me about an hour and a half to find them. Once I found them, dropped on them, bam. I saw some that I thought I found earlier. They were schools of bluegill. I couldn't hardly catch them. They were just doo -doo 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 -doo, tapping my bait. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I want to share a little something with you that the Lord has put on my heart to share. Uh, thinking about casting. You guys have heard me say Psalm 55, 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he'll sustain you. But thinking about casting, we are casting down to these fish in hopes that they're gonna bite. We're sewing our lure out, fishing it just right, working it just right, hoping these fish are gonna bite and we're gonna reap a harvest. The farmers do the same thing, they plant their seed in the field, hope it yields crop, and we wanna cast the lure the fish want, you know? We, we don't wanna cast something that makes them turn away, go the other direction. I tried different lures trying to figure out what they wanted tonight and cast it down to them, trying to catch the fish and I didn't want something that they didn't want to eat it just was a waste of time doing that and it just got me thinking what you sow you're gonna reap your actions are going to lead to whatever comes if you're seeking destructive things if you're seeking sin in this world if you're seeking pleasure that will not fulfill you you're going to reap that you're going to reap the emptiness of all of that and the destruction of all of that. It, it's just uh, it's just how it is. You're just gonna reap what you sow. So sow good things today, and next time you go fishing, try and cast lures the fish wanna eat. You might catch some. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless you. We're gonna get out here. Subscribe for more. Remember, if you're interested in supporting my channel, you can do that through a website called Patron. It's linked down below. Help me keep these videos coming out. Help pay my video editors. Uh, but God bless you guys. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.